Good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 18th. It's Today is Danny's birthday. Um, I actually was out here. Jim's probably wondering why the garage door is still open because I've been out here for about 10 minutes. I did a story time video. I started to talk about Danny's birth and then I got kind of long-winded and then I had to stop because um, I had to call him because I call my children on their birthdays at the time that they were born. Except the exception being Jimmy, because Jimmy was born at 6:35 at night, and if I waited till that late at, to call him, he'd think I forgot his birthday, and I, I can't do that. So I call him at 6:35 in the morning. So as long as he's working, that's not a problem. But on the on his days off, he has a problem with that. But you know what? Too bad. So sad. It's gonna happen. Um, it's it's a beautiful day. It really is. Uh, as I said in my other one, my story time video that uh, Weight Watchers with Carrie and I realized that 46 degrees in the Midwest, that's like a heat wave. It's kind of nice. So I've only got a sweatshirt on, and uh, it's a little chilly, I will admit, but once I start walking, I'll be fine. So anyway, uh, Danny was born on April 18th, obviously, and he was due on March 25th. And the reason I know for a fact that he was due on March 25th is because um, Jim and I had gone to Toronto for our anniversary. My anniversary is July 2nd. We had gone with our bowling league the last week of June to go to um, Toronto, and we took the train. And uh, circumstances, you'll have to watch the story time to figure out, but circumstances beyond our control, we kind of ran out of money. And so we spent a lot of time in the room. And um, hint, 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 Danny is a Canadian, <laughs> so um, he was conceived in Canada. And I know this for a fact because when Jim came back, or not when Jim came back, when we came back from, I came back with him, I don't know what I was talking about, but when we got back from Canada, uh, back then, when Danny was born in 1977, so he's 40 years old today, 40 years old, but um, of course, what does that make me? I'm a spring chicken, so anyway, um, the, the work in Michigan was uh, really sporadic, and Jim was having a hard time finding work in the state, so he ended up, um, traveling to out of state to work. I think back then, I think he was working in, I forget. I know he worked in Pennsylvania for a while. I know he worked in New Jersey and he worked in Massachusetts. But one of those places, I don't really remember. But uh, he was doing a lot of traveling back and forth. And so he was not home for the whole month of July. And uh, so I know for a fact that uh, Danny was conceived. In, in Toronto because I didn't have hook up with anybody in July. So Danny was due on March 25th and when he uh, I um, was probably about just before my I didn't we didn't tell anybody you know back then you didn't tell anybody before you were three months pregnant um, kind of jinxed it if you didn't. So I was Jim was home and um, so it had to have been in August and uh, I was having a lot of cramping and I, I wasn't feeling well. And I had already lost a baby the year before. And so I, I knew all the signs. And so I went right away to the, I called up my gynecologist and I went right away to the, to the doctors. And he examined me and uh, <clears throat> this was on a Friday. And he had told me that uh, I was in the beginning stages of a miscarriage and that uh, I was gonna lose the baby but that I should, I, he could either check me into the hospital or um, I could just go home and have bed rest. And since I already had Jimmy at home, my sister Mary was living with me at the time, but you know, I, I just didn't want to go to the hospital. And you know, I was kind of in denial that I was gonna lose the baby anyhow. So um, I went home, went, took to my bed, <laughs> and uh, I even went on a bedpan. I made no effort to get out of that bed. I stayed in that bed and uh, I ate my meals in there. I I just was dedicated to not losing this baby. And uh, Monday came, and you know what? I didn't lose the baby. So I went back to the doctors, and uh, he he was he was astounded. He says, I can't believe it. He said, this is one determined little baby. And uh, I said, no, I'm going to keep this one. I've already lost one. I'm not losing another. And uh, so I was very diligent about being very careful for the for the next, I thought, seven months. Turns out eight months, but I thought seven months. But uh, I went crazy eating. I craved brownies and Coca-Cola. And back then you bought Coke in a six pack and they came in uh, 12 ounce bottles. And I would go every morning 
I'd walk to the corner store, which was probably like three houses down, and uh, I would buy a six-pack of pop, and I would make a box of brownies. And I would uh, eat all those brownies and drink all that pop. And I went crazy. I gained, with Danny, I gained 75 pounds. So when my due date came, which was March 25th, I wasn't concerned when he didn't come on time. And then uh, it got to be April 1st, and he still wasn't there. And I really, really wasn't that concerned. I know that I was only three days late with Jimmy, and I was nine days late with uh, Christy, but I, I really wasn't that concerned. I, I, I thought, no, I don't have a problem. He's, he's going to be here I, I, any time now, any time now. And I still went with my visits. And they kept saying, any time now, any time. You must have miscalculated. And I go, I know I didn't miscalculate. I know exactly when I got pregnant. I know the room number. I know the hotel. I know exactly where it was. And uh, he says, well, I, I can only take your word for it. So uh, we kept on going. So then uh, Danny was born on a, my gosh, a Wednesday, I think. You think I'd remember that? No, Jimmy was, no, Danny was born on a Monday. Christy was born on a Wednesday. Jimmy was born on a Friday. Danny was born on a Monday. So the doctor had told me that uh, on Friday, he said, um, if you don't have the baby um, by Monday, if you don't have it over the weekend, you're going to have to come to the hospital and we're going to have to induce labor. So I said, okay, fine. Well, obviously he didn't come over the weekend. So Monday morning, um, Jim says, well, I'm going to take the day off. I'm going to be here for the birth of this one. I didn't make it for Jimmy's, um, so I'm going to make it for this one. And uh, so I said, oh, okay. Oh, back up just a little bit. For the whole nine months, if Danny was a girl, he was going to be Lisa Marie. And if he was a boy, he was going to be Chad Gregory. On Sunday afternoon, I went to the bathroom. <laughs> and I came out of the bathroom and I told, the, told Jim, I said, I don't like Chad Gregory. I like Daniel Edward. I think we're going to name him Daniel Edward if it's a boy. And he says, what, did you have a... A awakening in the bathroom or something. I says, I don't know. It just came to me. He's not a Chad Gregory. He's a Daniel Edward. It's going to be a boy. And he says, well, you don't know that. And I go, yeah, it's going to be a boy. I know it. Daniel Edward. Something came to me and told me it's going to be a boy. He's whatever. So anyway, I go to the hospital and Jim took the day off. He brings me to the hospital. Well, we had bought a new car and uh, a couple, back then you ordered cars. You didn't just go to the lot and buy them. You went and you picked out the color. You picked out everything you wanted on the car and then the car came. And uh, so um, we had picked a, a Monte Carlo. It was a buckskin, which was like a yellow with a brown uh, vinyl top. It was a really sharp-looking car. So anyway, uh, we get there, and they, you know, they do all the prep, and they do everything they're supposed to do. And um, at 8 o'clock, they asked me um, if uh, I was feeling any different, and I said no. So they gave me a shot to induce labor. And then... Um, at 9 o'clock, they gave me another checkup, and then they said, you know, I don't know, you just, I, I, I think that we'll, we'll need to give you another shot. And I said, oh, well, you know, whatever. So they gave me another shot. So like at quarter to 10, when they gave me the third shot, Jim says, well, how long is this going to take? And they go, well, her water hasn't even broke. It, she's going to be a couple hours at least. And he says, well, they called and my car is ready. I'd like to go pick up my car. Do I have time? And they go, oh, you got plenty of time. She's going to be hours. Don't, don't worry about it. So they said, okay. So he left around 10 o'clock, and then some nurse or nurse's aide or intern or somebody came with this long-ass hook. It looked like a uh, crochet hook. And he says, well, we're going to move you along. We're going we're gonna, to um, break your water. I said, okay. So, you know, they broke my water. And then at 10, 11, boom, hello, world. <laughs> Here comes Danny. So Danny was born, and Danny weighed nine pounds, two ounces, and he had the reddest hair. It was so red. It was, uh, and I was hoping for a red-headed baby. I'm Irish, so I'm, I was hoping for a red-headed baby. <clears throat> His red hair lasted about three weeks, maybe four, and uh, then it went, then it slowly got lighter and lighter. It went from a redhead to a strawberry blonde to a blonde. But, uh, so that's the birth of Dan. So... Happy birthday, Dan. I love you so much. I'm so glad you were here and part of my life. And I love that you gave me two grandsons. So um, let's go. Let's go for our walk now. I've babbled on long enough. This is going to be a long ass video. Long video. Long video. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm back. Um, I did walk my 2.1 miles. And I talked with Danny. Wished him happy birthday on my walk. 
And then Denise called me and I talked to her for probably a mile and a half. So it was like I was walking with her. She's not ready to walk outside yet. But I'm glad I didn't put another jacket on because this was just enough. It's, it's kind of nice out. It's uh, my birds have food now. And so the one big bird is calling all the other big birds and telling them to come. I was hoping the little birds would find it before the big birds did because they, they go crazy. They do not know how to share. So I'm going to go in, have some water, take a shower, and proceed with my day. So stick with me. We'll see what the day brings. Okay, once again, very late, but I'm going to eat um, tea and water, uh, grapefruit, my toast, banana, and an egg. And I started my day with a prayer. I have drank 32 ounces of water so far. I've walked 9,300 steps. Uh, my quote is, you don't have to be perfect in order to be successful. Uh, as you can tell, I've not been perfect, but I do feel I've been successful because even though I have my gains every now and then, I do get right back on the horse and lose it right away. If I could just keep losing it instead of gaining it, I'd be in a whole better spot, that's for sure. But, you know, it's a lifelong journey. So my egg is two points. My whole wheat toast is three points. A teaspoon of peanut butter is two points. My grapefruit, banana, tea, and water are zero, so 37 points, or seven points, rather. So I have 30 points of my 37 for the day. Okay, I'm just going to have a bowl of berries for a snack and um, a glass of water that I have over there. It's a big blackbird, and I don't know if you can see, but he's... I'm filming you. This Christy wanted me to film this bird because I'm on the phone with her. It's flicking all. Oh, it's flying away now. It's flicking all the food onto the ground. It's not eating it. It's just destroying it. I'm like, it's <laughs> driving me crazy. All righty. Time for dinner. David had lasagna, and I'm having a baked potato with a six ounces of chicken and carrots and cauliflower. Iced tea and water. Um, my six ounces of boneless chicken breast is four points. My baked potato is five points. I have two tablespoons of sour cream for three points. One tablespoon of whipped butter for three points. I don't know if that's right, but anyway, I counted it as three. Uh, one tablespoon of cheese for one. Now my tea, my water, my carrots, and my cauliflower are zero, so my dinner comes to... Four, seven, twelve, sixteen points. Okay, I'm done for the night. Gonna get my pajamas on. Oh, there's a shadow. Look at there's somebody hiding behind me. No, it's me. It's my shadow. But look who's still here. She's she's saying, Don't let her eat me. Don't let her eat me. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't taste too good. I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm fattening. Oh, well. Um, David's home. He's doing his homework. And I had Alyssa tonight because Cindy had uh, conferences for school. And they're just leaving now. And so I'm going to end the video. And tomorrow morning I'm going swimming with Birdie. And I might walk, I don't know, in the afternoon. We're supposed to get rain, so we'll see. So, anyway, like this video. Subscribe, comment, share.